Hi everyone, happy Saturday evening. We are having some friends over tonight for dinner. And as you guys know, I'm kind of a lazy cook. I like to cook um, good food, but it can't be super complicated. And this is one of my favorite recipes. It is a gluten-free, dairy-free, and paleo-friendly butternut squash soup. I will post the actual recipe in the comments um, if you guys want to see what the actual recipe looks like. Um, but for now, I'm just going to show you kind of how I prep it and put it together. So um, I just sauteed um, in this big bowl. You can kind of see a little bit of olive oil with um, a quarter cup of diced carrot and a half a cup of diced onion for like five, ten minutes until it was kind of like mushy. And all I'm going to do now is add um, four cups of chicken stock. You can use chicken broth. You can use whatever you like right into this mixture. And honestly, all I'm going to do now is bring this to a boil. So um, it's just chicken stock and carrots and onions, and I'm just going to bring it to a boil. Um, you can also add coriander if you want. I am not going to do that, but I am going to add a little dash of cinnamon. You can also use a cinnamon stick, but I only have ground cinnamon, so that is what I'm going to use. So I'm just going to kind of like mix this up, and I'm going to bring it to a boil. And then once it is boiling, I'm going to add um, this mashed up, it's like about a cup and a half, um, of butternut squash to the boiling mixture. I'm going to remove it from the heat once it is done boiling and being um, mushed up. Okay, hold on. And then I'm going, I'm just going to grab my recipe. And then I'm going to use um, an immersion blender. This is my immersion blender. I already immersion blended the butternut squash. Or you can use a regular blender. I prefer the immersion blender. I find it a lot less messy and I can do it right in my big pot. I don't have to like get another pot for it. Um, and then I just, once it's all blended together, I can put it back um, on low heat and then um, serve it. And you just want to toast, this is my favorite part of the soup, toast some pepitas or pumpkin seeds, whatever you want to call them, and sprinkle them on top and they look super pretty. If you love dairy and want it super creamy, you can add half a cup of sour cream or half a cup of heavy cream to the soup. Um, I'm not doing that, but you can certainly do that. This is obviously a super, super, super clean and easy recipe, not difficult at all. You can also um, you know, make the butternut squash or the soup ahead of time and freeze it if you want. Um, Yep, and so this is just roasted squash that I roasted um, whole. <laughs> I bought the stuff that's like peeled and cut in half, um, but you can also buy it pre-diced. Um, I couldn't find the pre-diced, so I bought the peeled and cut in half. I'm too lazy to roast a whole one and have to peel it myself and de-seed it. And then I roasted it 400 for like 30, 40 minutes, and then I just used the immersion blender to kind of mash it up. So super easy. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, this is kind of like our appetizer tonight. I'm doing it instead of a salad. Like I said, my favorite part is the toasted pumpkin seeds on top. Um, and I will definitely post the recipe for you all um, right at the top of this post so that you can grab it because I know it's kind of a lot to take in while I'm talking. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening, um, whether you're staying in on this weekend or going out and enjoying your friends. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.